downloaded an email template from emailmonster.io. I wanted to take a look at what was behind it, the HTML. I've done that before with some others and it was XML, extensible markup language. So I want to see how clear this is. This is one I got from Email Monster, which suit a company. I'd already downloaded it. The only thing I changed was I put a video in as opposed to one of an images. I transferred an image instead of a... I actually done that before on HTML, so I've looked at it before. But I want to show you what's on the source code. So let's take a look I'm using expression web, let's take it up. Okay, here I am. And this is the source code of it. Dot type HTML, HTML head. So let's take a look at the head section fur. Okay, looking at the head section. There are some inline CSS rules here. Read MS body width, external class. Now I imagine they're just for the editor because if you're going to upload it, you probably just need a body section. Some media screen devices there, they'd be for width, etc. Different resolutions. And they have the styles. It's going to be a lot more style. And here we are, XML, which is extensible markup language. I've seen that before on some other templates by MGML. They weren't as good as these, these look better. So that's where the style ends, that's the head section. Head section, some more there, some more links. But um, you probably don't need those. Okay, opening body section and a lot of CSS rules. And we go into a table. So it all seems tabled up. HTML, quite simple, quite straightforward. So moving down. It's all tabled up, so all those rows, columns are all tabled up with inline CSS. Okay, I'm just going to keep rolling down, rolling down, rolling down. Body section, body section. Let's have a look. Okay, so all of this, as, as I've shown in HTML, is columns and rows in a body HTML body ta table <coughs> excuse me tabled up kind of old fashioned way of doing it but um, that's what they've done that's how they've used it no CSS grid system no HTML5 kind of system but they probably don't need that as you can see on desktop it's quite thin Okay, let's have a bit more of a look at it. So, what was inside the root folder? Let's have a look, file, open, and there we are. Just a simple HTML index page with the images. If you're uploading, you probably have to take the images out and place them externally. Okay. Found something interesting in the HTML. Here's a closing tag, round direct. Never heard of that. Centered. That's the table centered. Table. TD is table data. What's inside it? Table row. I've never heard of that. Round direct. I can't actually see the opening tag. I'll have a look for that. We're looking for it, can't find it. But I've just found another thing here. Anchor link. What's that? W anchor link. Ha! Huh. Never heard of these things. Okay, also just found this table ID with a CSS rule. Use control and click to find a hyperlink. Not found. Maybe it was online, an online rule with the editor. Another thing of interest here, another rule, Outlook group fix. I wonder if that's to do with MSN's Outlook. Don't know. I've tried these on Outlook, but I'm not upgraded on their office system. Um, couldn't find the opening tags for those those terms, I think they're XML. But overall, it looks quite easy to edit. It's all just simply tabled up. So you could, if you wanted, change things within HTML quite easily. All you need to do is a little bit of knowledge of HTML.